Writing of WPA work at small liberal arts colleges. Joe Gladstein and Dara Regnan examine both common leadership structures and how local contexts shape writing leadership. Their work has allowed me to understand how my WPA work is facilitated and limited by embedded persons. Paraphrasing these authors, by embedded persons I mean people on campus not explicitly viewed as WPAs, but whom exert authority over writing curriculum nonetheless. The rest of this talk examines the intersection of explicit and embedded leadership. It does so within the context of the new, untenured WPA stepping into ongoing curricular change at a small liberal arts college. My position was born from a core curriculum overhaul which introduced explicit writing instruction into lower level philosophy, history, and English courses and created upper level writing courses in the disciplines. These courses joined the first year composition course housed in the English department. My position's title was revised to acknowledge this expansion of writing. No longer a first year writing coordinator, I am instead the director of writing. The upcoming slide provides an oversimplification of my institutional positioning as my responsibilities extend to not only the core but also writing center work. That said, I live solidly within the English department. The intersection of my responsibilities and my departmental home means that I work alongside numerous embedded persons with authority over writing. Two of the most influential are my department chair and the core director, a philosophy faculty member. Coming to understand what these embedded decision makers value and what pressures they face has shaped all facets of my work. So while my job description includes many different tasks, one such task is to negotiate among these various constituents. What have I learned during my first two years? Much of what I've learned relates to what Raymond Williams calls tradition as an active shaping force. Williams' idea helps me to understand why things are the way they are even if these things don't always make sense or aren't exactly what I might value. Furthermore, tradition helps me to understand the distinction Thomas Amorous draws among power, authority, and influence. Because of the curricular authority held by both core and the English department, my work depends on me gaining influence within these bodies. To do this work, I've had to better understand not just the core director in my chair, and not just the current initiatives occurring on campus, but also how these initiatives extend from and reshape institutional traditions. The distinction between authority and influence is especially important given the lack of a codified writing program. Remember, I'm the director of writing, a rather nebulous title that caused me more trouble than it caused anyone else. Said differently, the lack of an explicit writing program seemed to bother no one but me. I was the outsider lacking in knowledge. Quickly, I learned it was far easier to work within existing structures and that such work required navigating among embedded decision makers. What suggestions then do I have for other WPAs who also work alongside embedded leaders? The advice I have may sound obvious, although I've tried to tailor it to this explicit embedded relationship. First, there's no substitution for asking questions. Remember, much of what you are walking into has roots in decisions, processes, and values that predate you. Furthermore, this information may not be explicitly available to you. Questions allow you to learn about local context and to gain knowledge about embedded decision makers. Asking questions also allows you to come to understand what different constituents value, including members of your own department. While my work overlaps numerous programs and departments, my departmental colleagues privilege my English affiliation. Given my department's large size, I found it valuable to develop an unofficial support system both inside and outside the department. I've been particularly aided by colleagues who have prior experience working with the embedded decision makers with whom I regularly interact. The active traditions shaping my WPA work have taught me to privilege the living context. By living context, I mean the human engagements that bring curriculum to life. The transition from graduate school to a small liberal arts college forces new WPAs to understand how people, including embedded leaders, may not share your disciplinary knowledge and values. As gaining influence depends on utilizing the authority held by these persons, learning how to engage them is vital. Although this work involves a fair amount of push and pull, I found the rewards to be vast as my influence over writing decisions has increased. The people aren't bad either.